Hey, Cap Seeker. Welcome back to the Existential Shift. Happy to have you here. This is your tarot scope for August. Capricorns. So you don't like beating around the bush, so let's just get into your reading. I'm going to use the after tarot today. Capricorns for August, please. Happy New Moon. As I'm recording this, a few hours from now, it's going to be a new moon and Mercury is going direct. And it feels a little lighter to all of us. Yay. But what do you have to say? Hmm. Oh, you're still like... Um, I'd be burdened by all the uh, massive ups and downs, highs and lows of the recent time. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, things are changing big time. First card out, Wheel of Fortune. You're feeling like your insides are turning in an inside out. And your outside is turning outside in. And you're like, what is my skin and what is my liver? I don't know anymore. Who am I? What am I? Because you've been building yourself for so long. You're a master builder, Capricorn. You're a cardinal Earth. And now energies in the universe and the shifts and the expansion and the 5D and everything is stretching you and turning you upside down. And you're like, whoa! Capricorn, you're like the, um, you know, the person who built the Ferris wheel. And you've been so focused on building it and it's been you know it's hard it's a big, it's a big endeavor and now it's ready now it's done and now you just you know you get on it and you just go on the ride and you're supposed to be enjoying it but you're just looking at the little screws and all the hinges and you're like is everything okay is everybody going to survive is no one going to fall sit back and enjoy what you have done And if it will all come crumbling down, well, life's a bitch and then you marry one. <laughs> Sorry, I can't believe I just said that. The lovers. And hi you, king of pentacles. So you're at a major crossroad. You're feeling like Wheel of Fortune and the lovers, that's big. Like, like your life is about to completely turn around, change. You don't know what's coming, but you know it's coming. And you want to make the best, most practical, most king of pentacles slash Capricorn-like decision. You want to maintain the foundations that you worked so hard on, that you are. But I don't know if you can do that. Capricorn. I'm not saying it like in a bad, scary way. I'm just saying it's like you're on the Ferris wheel. Look at the view. Yeah, the wheel is going to go down, but you're safe. You've built it properly. You have your seatbelts. You can take a big life-changing choice. If you resonate with this because this seems to be a reading of that sort and you got this because you, you you know how to handle things life isn't about what's coming at you life is about how well you know to handle and you know how to handle so have some faith and trust this feels big show me more please oh that's too much show me more please for capricorns for August Sun, Moon, Rising, Mars, Venus, Intuitively Guided, and Cross Watchers. Reverse the roles if you want to. Take what you need, leave out what you don't. Did I say it all? Oh, you are very methodical with these big ass changes that you feel are coming with this big decision that you feel like might change everything. It's going to be a process that will last at least until January. 
So don't, you know, be like, oh, when will it end? It's, it's not about when it will end. It's a good thing. It's a good thing, Capricorn. So enjoy it, right? No one goes on the Ferris wheel and be like, oh, when will it end? It's okay. Your perspective will change. Your experience will change, yet it will all still be relevant and truthful because it's all a part of this game. And you know it's a game. You're just playing it really, really well. So sometimes you're forgetting that it's all just a game. The chariot, where are you going? Are you moving somewhere? Are you changing a job? Are you being promoted? Are you taking off with your own endeavor? Are you moving at home? Are you traveling? Some of you are literally moving a continent. And I'm getting that some of you are finally feeling propelled to move towards your heart's desires, your dreams, your aspirations, your goals. With all this big stuff, I don't see fear. Wow, something needs to crumble. The tower, something will crumble. I, I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of pressure in this reading. If you will fight it, it will be an earthquake. If you will allow it, it will be a mountain being built. I'm trying to think of a positive analogy to moving earth, it's building a pyramid. Uranus is in Taurus, and I, I feel like it affects all earth signs, especially if you have strong Taurus in your chart. And Uranus is the planet of, you know, expansion, growth, changes, shifts, surprises you know, stretching you out of your comfort zone and out of your boundaries for Capricorn, for a stereotypical Capricorn, it's not easy. But it's here to remind you of why it is that you're working so hard and why it is that you're so practical. Capricorns, people people miss out on that part, are very poetic, romantic, artistic, and dreamlike, and dreamer, you know? They have a dreamlike state of mind. Because they're so dream-oriented, It is even more so important to them to be able to build that dream and have it manifest and be real as opposed to something that is just like in a bubble in the air. But when you work so hard towards a dream, sometimes you forget the dream because you're so in the work and you confuse the work with the dream. When I say the work, I don't mean the job. Like if it's a job that you enjoy, then obviously it's the dream. But I'm, I mean like the effort that you put into um, making things tangible and real and present. Don't forget what it's about. And if some of you have forgotten a little bit or, or got a little bit sidetracked, then the universe is like... <laughs> kind of feels like this. Yeah, um, I am... For some of you, you are moving a home. It could be feeling sudden, uh, sudden, not sudden kind of thing. Like you've been seeing it coming, but you weren't sure, but you thought maybe it will work out and it seems to not be working out. Don't, you know, I'm going to tell you to be the Capricorn Virgo kind of thing and make sure you cover all the small details, cross the T's, dot the I's, go over the contract, make the arrangements properly. So once you're cleared, then it's a, it's a smooth sail. So movement, but not hasty. You're good at that. You don't need me to tell you this. Unless you're like a Capricorn with nothing but fire and air and mutable energy in their chart. Other than that, it's like is it the Capricorn hiding there. I don't know. You know. Who knows? Okay, show me more about this. Explain to me this whole tower thing, chariot thing, eight of wands. Okay, this could be, again, movement. Um, this could be an opportunity that comes in that requires you to act fast and move fast. And it's, it, 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 by default, requires some sort of breakdown of a current st structure because it's so fast and it feels like something's crumbling. Hmm. 
and Mercury going direct now and Jupiter going direct on the 11th. Um, whatever tower moment this is, is going to happen really fast and you're going to be out of it pretty soon by mid-August. I think you're just going to be like done with it. Um, I don't think it will be a tower moment that will like affect you and linger and hurt. It will just be like, you know, pulling out the band-aid. Come back to this reading two, three, four weeks from now and see how things turned out and if it resonates. But Wheel of, Wheel of Fortune, Lovers, Tower, Chariot, yeah, it's inevitable, whatever this is. You've been seeing it coming. It's, it's been a long time coming. In the making. Queen of Wands in the reverse on top of the Wheel of Fortune and the Lovers. So this might revolve around a fire sign or a uh, queen of wands in the reverse. So it's very uh, dramatic, prezic, um, fast flaring, um, quick to anger, jealous, possessive energy with a lot of ego. And this could be probably love. Some of you are quickly removing yourself from a love situation or from someone. Um, like, I, 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 shit hits the fan kind of thing. Ugh, I'm sorry. I don't think I'm surprising you here. I don't think I'm like, if, if you're, if you're, um, if your nest is harmonious and serene and beautiful, it's not for you, Cappy. Either check out your extended or see other placements. But if you know what I'm talking about, I don't think there's any going around it anymore. Like whatever you know is true will come about to the surface. Mm. Show me more, please, for Capricorn for August. Okay. Eight of Swords. Wow. It's like a seesaw. It's like in and out. Should I stay or should I go? Staying, leaving, staying, leaving. Okay. Temperance. Yeah, there's a need to really find some balance and harmony and temper the energies um, and the potential for it is definitely there if we have the temperance of the upright let's look at the cards it's hmm. kind of here eight 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 something may be in the you know in the lion's gate portal august 8th um might really be the trigger point or the you know um, the escalation of things or the, i don't want to scare you i don't think it's a bad thing i think it's something that your guides are trying to kind of help you with uh to find inner peace um Look, temperance is also a positive sign that if things have been rocky a little bit, but you know it's like a temporary thing and it has to do with like all kinds of life changes, maybe you're having a move, maybe um, you're changing a lot um, and it affects the partnership or something like that. This could show that there's, you know, room to resolve things in a harmonious way. Some of you, it will just breaking it up, you know, harmoniously. Some of you, it's trying to kind of find the common ground and communicate and the communication will be much easier coming towards mid-August after a certain like dramatic breakdown and then that kind of helps release things that were kind of stuck inside maybe that you haven't communicated or haven't said and now it's like bringing everything out into the surface um, so because these are general readings you know it could go either way but Either way, I see the drama here. Um, 
What else can you tell me about this reading, please, for the Capricorns for August? Six of Wands. So there is, you know, there is getting through this. There is a victory. There is strong energies of, you know, aligning the energies and communicating and succeeding. Six of Wands. Um, this is good. It Six of Wands comes after five. Six of Wands comes after Five of Wands, which is a card of struggle and conflict. You know, so this, especially after the Temperance, I really like seeing this because this can show like. Okay, we sailed through this. We managed through this. We the hard, the difficult time is over. Um, I'm just not sure if it's together or apart. If this is romantic, either way, this is looking good. But let's see. Bottom of the deck, ten of cups. Yeah, there's a very good chance that there is like making newfound understandings. And communicating better and growing out of a difficult time like if maybe both of you are deciding to take the high road let the things that don't work out crumble and kind of but I am seeing some of you moving on now, I can't tell you what to do and this you know this is relevant to each case to its own but this feels really good By the end of the month, mid-month, end of the month. It would be all worth it, whatever this is. Can you show me more, please, about this? A little bit more, and then I'll continue this in the extended. And right now, I'll give you messages from the I Ching. Is there anything else you can tell my Capricorns in regards to this reading, please, for August? Nine of Cups, yeah. Okay. So, this is a big sense of satisfaction. Okay, this is someone feeling really good about themselves. Like they've, you know... If you survived this, good job. <laughs> this could be in a, inner, by the way. It doesn't have to be outer. Um, yeah, there's there's some sort of breaking through a karmic cycle or a cycle of and some sort of cycle, like breaking out of the Ferris wheel, for example, and 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 really stepping more into a path that is more right for you. This could be right for the both of you. This could be right just for you. But either way, where you find yourself towards mid-August and on, it's a good place to be. So whatever realizations you guys or you are making by mid-August, there's a great sense of satisfaction and ease coming after that. And this could be something that is happening outside of your love life, like some sort of achievement or accomplishment that makes you feel really good about things and about your journey. Like maybe you're taking a risk, maybe you're uh, changing something really big and it turns out really worth the while. Right? This could have nothing to do with relationship or there's another aspect to this. This could be both simultaneously, like needing to choose or, or feeling like caught in between um, a career path or some sort of self-growth and a relationship, a love relationship that is going through some uh, hurdles. And like, it feels a little bit at first like it, it kind of goes on top of each other. But then there's just freeing yourself from it. Okay, I'm going to see further into this in the extended uh, because I will look at the um, elementals from this and then I'll do a Celtic Cross shuffle.
Uh, and then I'll do message from the rooms as well. So we'll see what comes up there. Link to that is below in the description box alongside uh, how to book a private reading with me and um, Tarot Masterclass. You know, it's a Akashic record, a library for tarot that I created that you can learn about the tarot online at your own time with me, guided by me. And 2019 Minnesota of Magic, there's a, an extended yearly. You can check out that sums the year by the month, each month. So yeah, check that in the links, all, all the information in the description box. Okay, message from the I Ching, please. For Capricorns, for August. Message for Capricorns for August. I do recommend watching your other placements and July's reading, current month's reading, uh, to make the connections. I do that all the time and it helps a lot. Okay. Capricorn. A lot of luck and good stuff are coming in, but I'm going to see more into detail. Capricorn. August. So just for my Capricorn Seekers, please, for this coming month. Two. Okay, let's do two. Two it is. Fifty-five and twenty-four. Oh, sorry. Story time. So 55, abundance. This, there's our six of wands, nine of cups energy. Above thunder, below fire, lightning and thunder, a brief period of success. Lightning and thunder are fleeting phenomena, sometimes occurring faster than we can fully perceive them. Yeah, I told you it's going to be fast. So too, so too does success sometimes burst upon the scene only to quickly vanish. One should enjoy times of unexpected abundance and not try to hold on to them or grow discouraged if the, abund if the abundance wanes. Not everyone is meant for lasting success, but the period of brilliance are a gift nonetheless. Okay, guys, this is for a month. This is not like, oh, you're not meant to succeed. <laughs> this is actually great. It means like something can come in, enjoy it. Don't make a big deal out of it. Don't try to be like, oh, is this forever or not? Just... Be in it. That's the message. Now number 24 that we also got. Foo, the turning point. It's amazing how it always clicks and resonates. Unbelievable. Above earth, below thunder. Thunder within the earth. The thunder within the earth. <laughs> the old makes way for the new. Thunder under the earth is the image of the awakening energy of spring. Winter is a time for rest, and when that time is complete, there comes a turning point. When one is attuned to the cycles of nature, that turning point becomes apparent. So it is in the activities of humankind which have their own turning points when success becomes more likely. When you are free for changes and we let go of the old and make room for the new, there's more room for success. And I love how it sums this reading beautifully. Um, okay, guys, I will see you in a second in the extended. Link is below. I love you very much. Thank you for being around. Um, and regardless, I will see you for September readings.